demystifying the truths of scooters. I really want to have an engaging discussion about the advantages and disadvantages of scooters that scooters possess. I'll intentionally try to keep this video under 5 minutes. minutes uh, this will be like a quick hitter conversation focusing on actions the emphasis is on the word actions not words i want to keep this short and sweet yet for inquisitive viewers wanting quick answers you will like what you learn here the main ideas of this video won't be like the hundreds of other youtube videos that only repeat copy paste repeat the pros and cons surrounding scootering like everybody is reading from the same book this here is something to expand on the topics and the points that other uh, wonderful youtube uh, you know creators have already mentioned but like enough with the nonsense let's get down to the actions so based on real world practicality and having the luxury of using scooters as uh, main uh, forms of trans commuter transportation or vehicles, uh, owners are the best suited for first hand information and those will likely be the ones that agree with the points that I put out right now. Scooters simply require little to no energy to confidently operate them. If you've been paying close attention, you were smart enough to notice that I've been confidently operating this Honda Silverwing Maxi Scooter weighing in over 500 pounds. And you know what's most interesting about that is that it, it's, it's up to this point, it's only required me to use one arm, one hand to operate. You know that? No clutch, no shift, it's just one hand. Advantage goes to the scooter. One of the most common maneuvers that are nearly effortless to perform on scooters is parking compared to motorcycles. Fortunately, I've been blessed with the opportunity to drive a scooter and a motorcycle. And I can say for this common maneuver, motorcyclists and scooters must perform it numerous times throughout the day. One common error motorcyclists run into is the approach to the parking spot before the maneuver when you're on a busy thoroughway you're sort of in a rush to back up and get out of the danger of oncoming traffic our head of motorcycles by a mile simply twist the throttle and go that type of setup is perfect for uh, making small adjustments when you back up we all know that the road surface is sloped towards the uh, sidewalk and once you've rolled back uh, against the uh, sidewalk your rear tires there it takes a lot of effort just to move a motorcycle even a you know a couple of a couple of centimeters or inches with a scooter it's really simple the scooter takes the advantage once again when it comes to these small actions actions I say Scooters provide something more than just under space carriage, uh, under space, under seat room. There's a higher level of protection with scooters. Imagine unfavorable climactic conditions or uh, road surface debris are common conditions that dedicated drivers can't avoid and must face head on. Um, scooters, the scooters that I've driven have always been full fairing and absolutely unquestionably provided ample protection in emergency situations. There's nothing worse than being caught in a torrential downpour without rain gear. Well, at least instead of being uh, taking on this water full against your body, at least you have the fairings which will channel the water around you and the windscreen which will travel, channel the water over you, or at least, you you know protect you long enough that your clothes don't get super drenched it's still giving you an opportunity to pull over and you know take a break or pull out underneath a, a, a highway overpass to wait out some of the heavy heavy rain and another thing that is is a confidence builder uh to riding a scooter is you know the debris on the road surface like shredded truck tires or bolts or you know pieces of uh, transport truck that have fell off get whipped up into the air and can and can cause severe injury to you at least the cockpit of a scooter provides maximum protection that'll help keep you out of the emergency room i mean 
you know, it'll it also give you if you did end up taking a blow, um, your bike end up taking a blow uh, uh, from one of these, you know, pieces or debris on the road, you still have an opportunity to pull over and escape, you know, uh, um, and inspect your bike and escape, escape like to, uh, you know, potential serious injuries. Anyways, with that said, people, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, like always, I want to hear what you guys have to say and what's on your mind. If you like me to make more videos like this, then hit the like button now. I really like reading all the comments on my videos like this, so keep them coming, people. It's a pleasure. Um, until next time, I'll just uh, you know see you guys later. This is MSG from uh, MSG Motovlogs. Thanks for watching.